Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Saturday, and it's 8 o'clock, and I am getting ready to tackle the house. Um, we were supposed to butcher rabbits this morning, but um, Michael's still sleeping, so I'm just going to do the things that I need to do in here, and we'll probably butcher rabbits tomorrow morning. Um, Arlo, where did you go? Stay out of there. Daddy's sleeping. Come eat your m &Ms. This is what I was going to show you guys. He's already had breakfast and he's watching a Jurassic um, Netflix show. And he has this big poppet that Michael got him at Royal King. And he loves mini M&Ms so I stuck him some mini M&Ms in the poppet. And hopefully it will keep him occupied. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it will keep him occupied long enough. That I can get some cleaning done. You see your M&M's in there? Can you get them out? You got one! You eat it! Yum! <clears throat> so hopefully that works. I'm going to catch up on all of this stuff. I'm going to start with the dishes. And then I'm going to probably start prepping to do these peppers. Okay, if you don't have kids and you watch my videos, welcome to life with kids <laughs> or life with boys. Completely took the dishwasher apart and is using the wheels to push it all across the floor. And I'm not even worried about it because I have to finish putting these away. <laughs> you want to try it? You like it? <laughs> I don't think you liked it. Ugh. Are you ready to do another one? Yeah. Here. No more. More. You want to try this one? It's probably sweeter. You try. lay the baby down for a nap and I cut up those peppers in the sink um, I've decided I'm gonna leave these five for um, stuffed peppers and then I'm gonna cut all the rest of these up all right guys look at these peppers I love this beautiful medley of colors they're so pretty um, I diced some that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting all of these in freezer bags but these are strips um, for, I saw someone do this for like fajita style meals and so I want to try this because I don't make as much, um, like Spanish or Mexican inspired food as I would like. Um, and most of the time it's because I just don't stock the ingredients. So, um, these are all for that. I have to finish washing those and cut those up. And then those in that bowl over there are for, um, they're going to be stuffing peppers, so stay tuned. Alright, <clears throat> here's the situation. I have all of these different colorful peppers, um, all vacuum sealed. These are the diced ones back here. These are all the strips. And then I've decided with all of my regular all green peppers, I'm just going to go ahead and dice them all because I don't think I'd want to make fajita um, with just green peppers. So I'm going to leave these for fajita stuff and all the green peppers I went ahead and diced and I'm going to bag those up. And then what's left in the sink is the um, halves for um, stuffed peppers. So I'm going to vacuum seal all of that and then move on. Is that good popcorn? Yeah. Need help? All right, take it outside. Outside. 
There you go. <laughs> Dump it out. Oh, goodness. Good job. More? More? They have enough. Side. I'm getting ate up by bugs. Ride? Ride? I know. Daddy's fixing it. Michael got the tractor fixed, the loader fixed, and Arlo gets to take his ride. He's been waiting quite patiently for a one and a half year old. looking and sounding like it's gonna rain any minute now. Michael said he doesn't think we'll get any of it, but it's awful rainy looking to me. It's awful windy. Look at the corn blowing in the wind. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it is thundering like crazy. And I have my little helper with his tomato that he picked. He's a very tired helper. Hey, can you take those over with mommy? Do you want mommy to take it so you can do what you want? Can you please not squeeze it and bust it open like you just did? Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, thank goodness I planted a lot of tomato plants because you just can't even be mad. He's still learning. He's still very little. So I also probably should have taken the tomato from him earlier. Roscoe, do you want to go inside? Roscoe does not like thunderstorms. Come on. He shakes like a... <laughs> shakes like a rattlesnake when the storm starts ride. Oh, come on, dude. Are you okay? Oh, you're okay. All right. You want to ride? It's about to be a thunderstorm. All right, we'll get one quick ride in. Let's go. Okay, I have the kettle going, so hopefully it's not too loud. Um, I'm going to make a cup of tea. I've got almost 20 jalapenos here. I have some more over on the table. I'm getting ready to make a jalapeno um, sauce. So I have my gloves because I have sensitive skin, and I really don't want to be burning for days. So I'm going to cut these and de-seed these, and then I'm going to put them on the grill and char them a little bit and pull the sugars out of the peppers and then add all my ingredients and blend it together and hopefully it turns out. So I'll take you along with me. Okay, I have my peppers. I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> they need washed and completely de-seeded. They have some seeds still kind of like remnants, so they need washed, rinsed. I'm going to leave these here because when I come back, I'm going to harvest some of these seeds and put them in a paper towel. These are those bell pepper seeds that I did. I just am leaving the bag open. I think this probably isn't the best way to do it for ventilation because I folded the paper towel up, but I will redo it later. I just didn't want to lose any of them. Um, and I'm going to take my cup of tea and go take a bath because Michael's running me bath water. <laughs> Yes, I'm not doing great um, on time. I'm actually just so exhausted. I just got out of the bathtub and I thought that was going to re-energize me and I think it did the opposite and now I'm just tired. 
So, I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I did 15 jalapeno peppers. Um, I don't know how many I have left. Let's count that first. I have a lot more peppers than I thought I did. I have 53 peppers left, and I have 15 over here. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So... I had 73 jalapeno peppers, and that's just from the neighbor, so um, I haven't even gotten anything off of my plant yet. Sorry, I'm so tired, guys. Um, so I guess I'm going to double this recipe because I know Michael said he liked it. So I'm going to put some gloves back on, and I'm going to double this recipe and um, get the rest of everything I need put my save some of my seeds and then um throw away the scraps and I'm gonna throw away the rest of the seeds from those two I'm only gonna keep what I need um and yeah that's it <laughs> hey guys this is um, my um I went ahead and did a baking sheet on the grill because it kind of works the same and I didn't want to lose any peppers um through the grates but this stuff is, it's basically caramelizing, I guess, kind of, um, bringing the sugars out of the peppers. I'm just trying to kind of stay away and keep my eyes away from the steam, but I went ahead and threw the onion in there too that's required in the recipe. And then once this is done, I'm going to bring it all back inside and blend it up in the food processor so there we go Good, I would show you guys my seed situation since I didn't show you with the bell peppers but these are my jalapeno seeds that I just de-seeded from this flesh of the peppers I'm putting another paper towel over it I'm going to fold this up put it in a bag leave it open just like this one and um, allow them to dry. I may not fold it as tightly as I folded the bell peppers, but either way, that's the same way that I'm going to do it, um, and I need to label them. All right, good morning, guys. It's 9.30. Arlo woke up at like 7, almost 8. So, um, I cleaned the kitchen, the main, like, big messes. Um, when I first woke up, I made some cinnamon rolls for breakfast that ended up tasting like onion. It was like only like three or four of them and it was the ones that I gave Michael. So, and he doesn't like onion really at all. So the onion flavor really kind of threw him off. Um, so that was a fail. Uh, the ones that I had didn't taste like onion. So I have no idea what happened, but I tasted it and they taste just like onion. So I don't know the pan was clean to my knowledge like I had just rinsed it and everything so I have no idea what happened but something happened to make them taste like onion um I am right now finishing washing this lettuce I think everything that's left in is pretty much like over absorbed and starting to rot really not all of it was amazing when I picked it first of all so I think all of this is just kind of going to be remnants and uh, I'll probably end up giving this to the chickens. Um, this is what I saved, plus a little bit more in the fridge. I just wrapped it up in paper towels to keep it kind of moist because I don't have anywhere to put it right now. Besides that, um, all of my big Tupperwares are taken up by more lettuce. So I'm going to set this in here for now right here. And... This is ginseng root. Um, basically, it's ginseng root tea. I'm actually going to drink some of it. You're only supposed to drink a couple ounces a day. I keep forgetting to actually um, drink it every day because I just forget. Like, I, I'm not used to having it. So, um, someone at work gave me these ginseng roots. I don't know if you can see them in here. No, it's too cloudy, but there are ginseng roots. Maybe I'll fish one out for you guys um yeah maybe that'll work they look kind of like carrots or parsnips can you guys see that 
<clears throat> he gave me two of them. There we go. Kind of like white carrots. They were really wrinkled and gross looking when he first gave them to me. Um, but you're supposed to soak them. You're supposed to boil them in water and then soak them in the fridge in the, in the same water for like, I think that's too much, for like uh, two weeks and then you can start to drink it. Or a week, I think. I don't know if it's two weeks or a week. Anyway, I'm just going to drink that much. I notice if I drink too much, it messes with my digestive system. But it does give me energy, so I'm going to start out with that. Um, I actually just went to go pick up Ashlyn. <laughs> um, it's so funny because this morning he <laughs> looked at and he was like, why does it look like you haven't done anything? And I was like, because I, <laughs> I literally did do stuff with it. I, I cut all of the sweet peppers and preserved those. I cut up um, like 30 or 40 jalapenos last night and processed those, which look at my finished product that I didn't show you guys last night. This is one that has banana pepper in it. And then this is um, one with just jalapeno and onion and uh, whatever. This is basically the same recipe, but it just has banana pepper in it too. And I like the taste of this one better. I tasted them last night. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell Michael that I saved some for him to taste. This is my new water bath canner that I got, guys. I got it at Meyer. It still has some water in it, but I got it at Meyer, and it's huge. It fits so much, and then this is the rack that goes with it, and it has a little temperature gauge on the top. It has a clear lid, but then I was looking last night, and it kind of doesn't matter because there was so much like steam in there that it, it didn't matter. I couldn't see anyway. So, um, yeah, all of this, I still, I was so tired last night. I still had all of this to, to do and I was like, I'm just exhausted. I, I can't, I don't have the energy. So I went to sleep last night and knowing that today we had still so much to do and I just couldn't help it. I was so tired and Michael was like, do you want me to call Ashlyn and see if she can help you today? I'm like, no, I didn't want to bother her. And I guess he went and called her anyway. So she, um, He's going to go pick her up, which I'm kind of excited about because she's such a good helper. Like, even if she doesn't help me with the preserving, she can help me um, with Arlo. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I can't wait for them to get back. I'm going to drink my ginseng. I'm going to go pour this out. Um, I guess I'm going to take it back to the chickens. And then I'm going to come back inside and start my dishwasher. And figure out what I'm going to do with the, all these banana peppers. I was going to make um, some cowboy candy with the remaining jalapenos that I have and then um, just mix in banana peppers. I have these huge banana peppers, but I kind of want to do like a sauce because that banana pepper sauce over there is really good. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, and then all these tomatoes. I need to cut and cut the bad spots out and freeze them, so. Anyway. Oh, he took his little car. Alright, so I'm going to get moving, and I'll get back to you guys later. Okay, guys, I look a little crazy, but I filmed a video last weekend, and I just was editing it today, and I realized that I was telling you guys all these things that I was possibly going to do with the peppers that I had, but I never showed what I ended up doing. So I figured I would sit down here in my pantry and show you guys um, a few of the things that I came up with and um, yeah, just show you my finished products as an end to that weekend vlog that I did for last weekend and that way I can finish it up and get it uploaded for you guys. So um, I'm gonna take you into my pantry here and we're going to start off with these garnishing sauces. Now, I did show these to you guys, so you have seen these. I already gave one to my mom and dad. And then we have back here, I had, um, I ended up with four jars of just regular pickled banana peppers. And I gave one of those to my mom as well. We don't use a whole lot of those. I'm pretty much the only one that likes them. Michael likes them to a certain degree, but like there's only so many things that we really cook that we would use them with. And then I made, Ashlyn and I made um, some 
cowboy candy. Now, this is with banana peppers and um, with jalapenos. So, well, this one says jalapeno and banana, and then this one just says banana. So, um, but what I did, now you can tell that the banana peppers, I didn't 100% get completely de-seeded. But with these that have jalapenos in them, they should all of the jalapenos were de-seeded. And I think that the banana peppers were just a little bit harder to do. And so there were a few that slipped through. But I wanted to take the majority of the seeds out of this cowboy candy that I did this year. Because I have this one that I did last year. And as you can see, all the seeds are in it. Which I think is more of the traditional way that I see people doing it. And I think it's just easier but we cannot handle all of that heat um, and it just makes it not even enjoyable for us. So um, I went ahead and just de-seeded them. And then the other thing that I ended up with was this pepper jelly. And I really didn't think that we were going to use this. I didn't know how it would turn out, if it would gel. I've never made jelly before. And what this is is one sweet pepper and then the rest is all banana peppers. And I think it's three and a half cups of peppers and liquid to one package of pectin. I might be wrong, so follow the directions on the box or whatever recipe you have. But I'm pretty sure that's the ratio that I did for this. And we tried some over this past weekend. Um, we put it over cream cheese, and my mom and dad and I crushed it. The kids don't like it too much, and I think Michael likes it. I don't think that he doesn't like it, but it's not, like, his favorite. So, um, but I grew up eating it, so I love it. I love the taste of it. I love pepper taste. I love sweet peppers. I used to literally just eat them like apples in the store. So, um, and I love cream cheese and dairy products and cheese and everything. So it's kind of the perfect medley for me and my mom. So we crushed it, but I was so impressed with how this turned out. I didn't know if using the banana peppers would make it taste weird, but it tastes so good. Like so good. In fact, that I, I think I'm going to continue to do that every year. Um, so yeah, that is what I made it out with, um, last weekend, also wanted to show you guys really quick this gallon size baggie I need to vacuum seal it um, I need to take these out and vacuum seal them but these are all very large banana peppers from my neighbor's garden they were the ones that were really wide and I saved these and froze them for the purpose of stuffing them so I think I'm going I think I'm gonna stuff them um, I've heard of a recipe kind of like um, stuffed jalapenos or whatever or what am I talking about fried stuffed jalapenos I don't know I, I'm like literally blanking on what it's called and I eat them all the time um jalapeno poppers so kind of like that but I've seen people fill them with cream cheese um and ground beef which we always use ground deer meat for our replacement for ground beef just because we can access it easier and cheaper um so I'll probably fill them with some ground deer meat and some cream cheese and then I've seen them wrapped in bacon. So I think I'm going to try that um, and throw them on the grill maybe. So that's what I saved those for. But um, yeah, that's what I ended up with. Um, and I'm really excited. I think I did a really good job of preserving the peppers this year in different ways than I did last year in ways that I think I will actually use them more and in quantities that are realistic for us. Like I'm not going to need 10 jars of pickled banana peppers. I just don't eat that many. So I'm glad that I found the recipe for the jelly because I just was feeling like I didn't know what I was what I would use them for. And I really do like that garnish sauce that I did with the jalapenos and banana peppers too. So if you like a hol or if you like a banana pepper flavor, it's good to like mix in a little bit here and there. So I'm so excited with the way everything turned out and um yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and um yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you guys next time.